you feel unsupported because you are unsupported. You're working in a system that has too few people. My name's Charlotte and I'm currently a junior doctor specialising in anaesthetics. The commute home, um, I'm often just quite tired. In the run-up to leaving work, there's the job of finding the appropriate person to hand over to. That's been a real hurdle for me to get over. Feeling responsible for the decisions that other people made about patients that I had perhaps handed over. The study was interested in looking at um, working conditions and cultures um, and their impacts on the mental health of junior doctors working in the NHS. I would come home maybe from an 11 o'clock or midnight finish. What I knew was going to happen was I was going to get into bed and I was going to try to fall asleep and not going to be able to fall asleep or in my dreams I would be transported straight back to work. I had a discussion with a senior colleague and I just broke down. So this is a blanket that I crocheted uh, whilst I was on sick leave. It was her who made me see that actually I wasn't well. And I kind of didn't believe her because I talked to so many people who felt similar things to me. What I normally like to do to save me from just constantly checking my phone is to do something with my hands, which usually involves something like crocheting. Junior doctors were telling us that the main causes of stress and distress were around toxic work cultures, poor working conditions, um, high workload. Um, lack of support and a culture of invulnerability. I kind of just thought, well, you know, this is normal and I'm just not coping with it. But then at the back of my mind, I was thinking, if this is normal and everyone goes through this, but this is how I'm reacting, how am I ever going to get through this? Evidence suggests that doctors who work over 55 hours are twice as likely to develop a mental health problem and um, are more likely to make a medical error. My role in the study has been to um, provide a junior doctor perspective. The survey reported that, you know, 70% of doctors experienced extreme or severely extreme levels of stress, uh, anxiety and depression. And over half of those had experienced suicidal thoughts feeling some had uh, self-harm or had made, um, sadly, uh, suicide attempts. I mean, I had a friend who was a doctor and who committed suicide. It was not purely due to work, but there were definitely aspects at work which um, contributed towards uh, her feelings of anxiety and distress. She was struggling with um, being very worried about whether she'd done the right thing or made the right decisions and that can then spill over from work into home and just really make it difficult to leave your work at work. I much prefer Yorkshire too. Um, Sometimes the frustration at myself would just get so much I would just dig my fingernails into my palms. So the impetus from the study um, was interested in and it exploring and understanding why there were slightly elevated rates of suicide amongst female doctors. It would be naive to suggest that there isn't a difference between the ways that male and female junior doctors are treated. I do think that there is more of an expectation when you are a female doctor in the more sort of caring aspects of the job. Interestingly, three quarters of the participants in the qualitative study and the survey were female doctors. And again, is that because women uh, are more likely to come forward and, you know, talk about um, their mental health compared to um, men? Um, or does it reflect, you know, increased levels of um, mental illness amongst women?
And I have friends who left the country. The stress on junior doctors will cause there to be fewer junior doctors. And that will result in poorer care. These are a couple of the journals that I started keeping as part of seeking treatment for um, my mental health. I have had very good support from my own GP and then also um, a GP I was able to talk to through the Practitioner Health Programme. I've had support from Occupational Health. I think shame is a big issue in medicine um, and it starts at medical school, the internalisation of that shame um, and that perceived inability to cope, it prevents help seeking. The NHS is, is a national kind of government led system which has a limited budget and limited resources. Then there are significant workforce gaps. Um, in the NHS at, at all kind of professions and all at all levels. In terms of addressing the culture of invulnerability, I think it needs to start at medical school and there's, there's currently, I think there's an over-focus on individual resilience. I just hope that everyone in the healthcare system are all able to offer each other some more compassion really important that senior doctors do not lose their compassion that they do have because of the pressures that the system is putting on them. It's about systemic changes. We all want to help people, but we can't do that at the expense of our own lives.